Welcome curious sailors to my channel. Today's video calls for a longer introduction since there's a lot of topics that I would like to clarify and of course give some context to those who join us for the first time. As you might have guessed by now, my name is Martina, I'm from Argentina and I'm a broadcast technician for Royal Caribbean, currently on board the Serenade of the Seas. Here on my channel I portray my personal experiences working as a cruise ship crew member and I try to help others that dream of this lifestyle by discussing certain topics and lately sharing updates from my company to other curious sailors. This week, as you know, we were called to action off the coast of St. Vincent to be on standby for possible evacuations after La Sofria volcano reached a volcanic alert of a red category. Naturally, my job here on board is to capture these difficult but memorable moments, like many other times that cruise lines have come to aid on the Caribbean islands since we are part of the same industry and we are constantly in solidarity with each other. I had the honor to portray the relief efforts of the Majesty of the Seas to the Bahamas Islands after the 2019 hurricane. And I say honor because I am proud of the efforts of my company and the hard work of my fellow crew members. With no hesitation, everyone on board springs to action over their work hours beyond their work duties. And with a great positive attitude, you will see here on Royal Caribbean, we tackle these things with a smile on our faces. Not because there's not things to worry about outside, but because that's how we face adversity. We will overcome it with a smile on our faces. So I really hope that doesn't come across the wrong way. We're just glad that we are here to do what needs to be done with our own hands and time. Speaking about making a difference, I will leave links in the description if you're looking for ways in which you can help as well. On another note, some misinformation was going around about cruise ships denying to evacuate non-vaccinated people and leaving them to their deaths. Well, right away, there's two things wrong about that statement. First of all, as you can see in the official communications, since I'm not an official spokesperson for my brand, this is up to the local governments who they approve for evacuation or relocation. And of course, this pertains to immigration permits from the countries that will be receiving these people. And the second mistake on these statements is that this was not a matter of life and death. If you've been following this channel, you know that I do not like to perpetuate dramatic headlines and stories. I always try to get accurate information, try to shed positive lights on the things going on around the world, and to keep it real. I will not sell you a picture of families running away from lava and for their lives, because that would be simply not true. And also that would disregard the readiness of the local government. On the second part of this video, I will go more into detail about the science and the real social and natural impact of this volcanic eruption, information that I was able to check with locals. I think it's important to recognize the readiness of the people of St. Vincent. The scientists that were recording seismic activities as early as December of last year to allow the public to be informed, alerted and ready. I will not sell you a picture of chaos and despair when local governmental, social, scientific and humanitarian efforts were deployed, placed in action and working efficiently. I will now leave you with my accounts of April the 9th, just before and up to the moment that the volcano first erupted, and you will notice there's absolutely no panic on the island, essential workers were deployed, we were docked at the pier since sunrise, and you will see a positive general demeanor, especially since the south of the island where the cruise ship port is located was part of the green zone, the safe zone where all the shelters are located that was lightly affected by some ash fall only after dusk, ash that of course on the north side of the island on the red evacuated zone did bring down some precarious structures but of course lives are what really matter in these times. Material things can be reinstated, the local authorities said it might take up to four months to have the country up and running again in its full capacity but the most important is that no casualties or serious injuries were recording up to our knowledge. And remember, this is my personal experience, some recordings I did with my cell phone without too much preparation, microphones and so on. Do check out the official press releases of Royal Caribbean to see the full extent of our relief efforts and keep sending your love to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Good morning, curious sailors. Welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We have just arrived 
and we are on standby for further instructions. We still have no confirmation whether we will need to effectively evacuate the locals, but we are getting ready. We all woke up with the sunrise today. I was capturing our arrival from the bridge, but of course all teams on board have been hustling and bustling since early in the morning, getting everything ready in case we need to put in action our relief efforts. Yes guys, I want to take you along today. It's going to be a busy day for everyone on board. Of course, this was an overnight decision and we sailed right away yesterday in the afternoon. We arrived after dusk and today we are on standby actually, awaiting for further instructions whether we will need to evacuate the locals. This is particularly moving since a lot of Royal Caribbean crew members are from this island, so we might see some Royal crew coming on board. And yes, I have been charged as a broadcast technician, of course, to cover all of our relief efforts here on the Serenade of the Seas. to see what food we will be preparing today in preparation if we need to receive anyone on board. Let's see how our culinary team is getting ready. Should we take a look at the view? guys i don't know about you but respect to the culinary team and the volunteers of course did you see that operation that's amazing let's see what other team we can catch in action next i just wanted to bring you to enjoy this amazing view of the island it's a pity that i had to come here under these circumstances and i really hope that the locals don't have to go through a volcanic eruption that could damage this beautiful island and of course their homes but i'm happy that we are here that we could get here so quickly i just want to say that it's not small feat to bring on this amount of evacuees in any circumstance but even more so during a global pandemic, you can imagine. So really a kudos to all the teams of Serenade of the Seas. I cannot stop repeating that. And I wanted to take a look as well as all, at all the cabins that we are getting ready. That of course is on behalf of our housekeeping team and our refrigeration engineers. 
getting all these cabins ready because of course they have been closed for a year now so we need to get all these living quarters fresh and ready to take some unexpected guests Probably everyone on the bridge is laughing at me right now. <laughs> Anyways guys, as I was saying, we are a minimal manning. We are only a hundred crew members on board when normally we are around 800. And of course we can cater to 2,500 plus guests in normal operation. But right now we are 100 crew members. So of course it's gonna be a huge stress, especially on our housekeeping, cleaning, culinary and medical teams so of course all the recognition goes to them but of course I don't wanna forget to mention our marine team our deck and engine teams that have brought us here so quickly and swiftly and of course even our refrigeration engineers that got all these cabins and their ventilation and air conditioning working once more because of course everything is shut down during these times and now we have made these cabins available again with the help of the housekeeping team as well. all the action tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. 